Hello, all my cruising friends. One trend in the cruise industry I'm super excited about these days is the progression of private islands. We've visited a number of them on our cruising adventures and we've never been disappointed. There are so many things private islands add to the cruise experience. I could go on and on about it. Seriously, I could. In fact, maybe we'll dedicate a future episode to the topic. For now, though, we're going to talk about a new private island, more specifically, MSC's new MSC Ocean Key Marine Reserve. If you've seen our vlogs from the past year, you'll know we are big fans of MSC. We had a blast on MSC Seaside and Meraviglia. Needless to say, we were thrilled when we saw the announcement about plans for the development of MSC's Ocean Key Marine Reserve. And we were even more elated when we got this latest press release with juicy details. That's right, the island is opening soon, and to help you prepare for a visit to this awesome new island, we've prepared a list of 10 things to know about MSC's Ocean Key Marine Reserve. Before we get started, we have a little disclaimer. Most of this info comes directly from the press release. You can find the full release on our website, and we'll link to it below so you can read the whole thing. Otherwise, just sit back and enjoy. The first thing you should know is MSC Ocean Key Marine Reserve opens November 2019. Yay! Four MSC ships will visit the private island destination in the Bahamas on different days. Those ships are MSC Meraviglia, Seaside, Divina, and Armenia. Here's the picture MSC paints with its press release. Endless sweeping vistas of crystal blue waters and two miles of white sandy beaches, Ocean Key is the ideal getaway for guests to discover nature's pure, untouched beauty through a variety of activities designed for all ages. There's going to be a ton of things to do, from snorkeling to stand-up paddleboarding and kayaking to just relaxing in a cabana on the beach. There's also spa treatments, a traditional Bahamian Junkanoo parade, a lighthouse light show, and beachside stargazing. There are eight beaches to choose from, offering different activities and services. MSC promises the island will be easy to get around and accessible from the ship by foot. Guests can also simply hop on the electric tram that will transport them around the island. We'll split the rest of the things you should know into three categories that will loosely follow MSC's press release. Those categories are thrills, family fun, and romance. Now that I think of it, the rest of these are all things that you can do rather than things you should know. On the other hand, you should know that you can do them. So let's just stick with that theme. The thrills category starts with something for you sporty types. MSC's Ocean Key will offer catch, tag, and release deep sea fishing. How cool is that? After a short boat ride, guests can experience an adventure-filled day as they catch, tag, and release to learn about the different species of regional fish and how they migrate in one of the most famous fishing areas of the world. Gray Fish, the only tagging research center in the Bahamas, will help guests as they catch and tag their fish and report information about the specific catch. The third thing you should know is you'll be able to take a scenic boat ride to a stunning Bahama bank and enjoy a lively, adults-only atmosphere and pristine, shallow waters while sipping on complimentary rum punch. Ah, you'll be surrounded by live music and dancing. It's called Rum Rendezvous, and this one is adults only. And now, the fourth fun fact. You can rent luxury pedal boats. You heard right, they're called Seclo Luxury Electric Pedalo Rentals. You can explore or simply slowly drift for hours in the tranquility of the beautiful Bahamian waters on the newest invention on the market, the Seclo, the luxury yacht of pedal boats. Who knew? These things have electric assistance ready for all your adventures and are made of recycled champagne cork, wood, and aluminum. I think I'll have to try this one to believe it. This fifth thing sounds super fun to me. Glow nighttime stand-up paddleboarding. MSC says discover the marine life after dark and enjoy a calm evening paddling under a starry sky with 
specially equipped stand-up paddleboard fitted with LED illumination. That sounds so cool. If it wasn't for pesky grown-up responsibilities, we'd probably be the first to fly to the Caribbean to try this one out. Now let's get into the family fun. If you've got adventurous kidlets in your family, you should know about Ocean Key Family Club. In this Ocean Key activity, the whole family sets out on an adventure across the island to help Captain Do Re Mi save the island. In the process, you'll learn about the environment, animal species living on the island, and how to preserve the island and oceans around you. Now, the Bahama Bank Escape, a family tour, is another awesome adventure available on MSC's New Paradise. This is a fun tour for the whole family on board a spacious double-decker power catamaran. The captain and crew take families on a charming boat ride to Bahama Banks, where you can splash around in the shallow tropical waters, enjoy sport activities, and relax on the beach with complimentary local rum punch for adults. Eighth and last in the family fun category is something called Kids Beachside Stargazing Adventure. This is another fun learning activity for kids and allows them to discover the universe, planets, stars, and time and space. Led by Captain Do Re Mi, children will help a little star find her way back home to the skies through stories, games, and riddles. It doesn't say anything about rum punch for adults in this one, though. Just saying. Let's talk about romance for the last two things you should know. This ninth thing sounds cool, but I'm not convinced about the romance just yet. It's called Honeymoon Harbor Stingray Adventure. You'll get to interact with a variety of different ray species, including the local friendly stingrays, on an adventurous boat ride to Honeymoon Harbor, where you can also enjoy the gorgeous beaches and lighthouse on Gun Key. Sounds fun for sure, and any adventure is romantic with my man, but again, no mention of rum punch. We'll have to check that one out a little bit more. <laughs> and finally, we have the 10th thing you should know, and this one truly does sound romantic. It's the Sunset Beach Picnic. MSC describes this one as a romantic picnic on the beach. It's for couples looking for a secluded experience where they can enjoy the sunset and blue Bahamian sea over a bottle of wine and a picnic basket of snacks. Now that sounds romantic. <laughs> there are the 10 things we think you should know about Ocean Key Marine Reserve. So is it just me or does that sound just out of this world fantastic? I love the private island trend. What do you think? Would you like to see this trend continue? What activities would you like to see the cruise lines add to these islands? Would you like us to do a full episode on the topic? Let us know in the comments below. All right, my friends, we'll end it here. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.